flame is burning away all I've known, making way for something new. A new life, a new thought, a new consciousness. Find your own true destiny and purpose in this life while the book is still open. That's Clarence Clemens. Let's go. Let's go. This is Julie Purple Podcast. You know, sometimes you get recommended a film and uh, and you might think, all right, you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll watch it. Um, but when when somebody you have a lot of respect for and the way that they view life, when they recommend a film to you and uh, and tell you that this is something you should check out, then you check it out. And, uh, and so this person recommended this film to me. I should have been able to tell just based off of the title alone that it was gonna be something I would enjoy and that it would move me, but I certainly was not expecting it to move me the way that it did. That being said, making this video is actually tougher than I thought it was gonna be, okay? This is, this is much more difficult than I had, I had originally thought. I thought I would just go through some of the quotes and make a video and, and just roll with it, but, but I'm struggling because these quotes, each one of them are taking me in a different direction and not only what I thought of this just unbelievable human being, but but of myself, because I did so much reflecting. I, uh, I, I, I'm telling you, this is just, this is a tough video for me to make. It really is because I want to go all over the place. I'm bringing this up and I'm saying that because ultimately I'm, I'm about 99% sure here that what I'm going to need to do is make like a Clarence Clemens kind of just a series of videos, probably like three or four videos in which I take a specific message quote something that was expressed throughout this film and then make its own video um because it was just there, there were so many just gems I, I i don't think i've watched a film that had so many gems within the film that this one did i mean this one just hit me um and this guy was so deep so clarence clemens right he he was a a musician a saxophone player highly highly skilled and, you know, the, the saxophone is probably one of the sexiest instruments that, that has ever been. I remember when I was a kid, I wanted to play the saxophone. And I remember the, the music teacher saying, well, the saxophone is pretty expensive. You know, we were kind of, you know, balling on a budget. And uh, I, see, that moment right there, I said balling on a budget. And what I really wanted to say was, you know, bon vivant on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> but but we were you know we were on a budget when I was a kid and and so I uh we couldn't afford a saxophone um it's not the cheapest instrument but the saxophone and the clarinet uh very similar you, if you learn how to play a clarinet you can basically play a saxophone and I remember getting a clarinet and thinking to myself and this isn't the the sexy instrument that I envisioned holding I want that saxophone <laughs> and um <laughs> but I always remember that and uh so I just I, I love the saxophone I, I loved Kenny G when I was a kid songbird was probably one of my favorite just of all time and and so it's it's kind of ridiculous that I had no idea who Clarence Clemens was prior to watching this film my little brothers both played the saxophone and they probably would look at me sideways if I said that um, they'll probably forget more about Clarence Clemens than I'll ever know. Um, but I say all that because he played with Bruce Springsteen for many years. And I almost don't even want to reference him as playing with Bruce Springsteen because, you know, people may reference him as Bruce Springsteen's saxophone. Pl no, like he's not that guy. Like this guy was so special that he should never be referenced as somebody's this, like somebody's brother, somebody's kid. Like the dude was just unbelievable his spirit was just so beautiful and um and so because there were so many quotes that i took down and and i, I I'll, I'll be honest with you i don't watch a lot of films that like i take down notes this one i did i knew from the get-go that i needed to start capturing some of these quotes and themes and messages because i wanted to just not only you know 
probably end up using them in a video at some point, but also just to, to look back on and, and kind of say, all right, like, wow, like, like there was near the end, um, he speaks on his mother and, and some of the words that she instilled in him and um, man, like, I, I'm just going to say it. Like, I can't hold this one back. I'm, I'm just going to have to say this one. Cause it was just, it was so incredible, but, but he was talking about his mom and, and what she would tell him and how, how that impacted him. But she said that she always said, always tell the truth. If you lie, you got to keep on lying. Never quit. Never give up on something you really believe. Always stand straight. Look people in the eye when you talk to them. And how you see yourself is how other people will see you. Now, everything within that message from his mother to, to Clarence, I will, not only do I completely agree with it, but but I will also, I, I promise you this will be printed out at work. I will have it on my mirror at home. Like, it is so powerful. And, and, and you know, I, I talk about the way that we view ourselves and how other people will view us, but... It just it just hit me. It really did. Um, there was so much in this film that hit me, and uh, and I I'm, I'm not doing this any justice with with what I'm doing right now. This is just humble Drew over here, hoping that somehow I can piece some words together to inspire somebody else to maybe watch this film and learn a little bit more about Clarence Clemens because this guy was just unbelievable, and you could tell by the way that he impacted so many other people. Um, you know I. I referenced this to the person that shared this with me that that I can tell just how unbelievable a person is if they can have me look at somebody else differently. You know, if you can change my opinion or, or have me look at someone else in the way that they say something a little bit differently, um, then then you did something. And I've never been like a huge Bill Clinton fan. Um, I knew the dude had that grown up swag. You know, he played the saxophone. Um, he was obviously a, an excellent speaker. He had great charisma. Um, the dude was, I don't know any other way to put it. He was a pimp. I mean, the guy just, he knew how to talk, but I was never really like a big, you know, Bill Clinton guy. It wasn't like that was my dude. And he listening to him speak about Clarence Clemens, I respected Bill Clinton more after listening to that, just because I knew that he respected his soul. And anyone that can respect somebody else's soul, I can respect, if that makes sense. Maybe at least a couple people, one person will understand what I'm saying there. But, um, but man, it was just, there was so much in this film. So I, uh, I'm probably going to make like a little series of videos here. Um, I may do the, you know, the intro here about the flame, um, and, and, and just basically you know, looking at the way that we look at life, you know, when, when the years behind us are greater than the years in front of us, I think that the way we view life starts to change a little bit. And I'm hopeful that, that I've got more years in front than I did behind. But, but regardless, as you get older, you just, you start to look at life a little bit differently. And, um, and I just, man, I don't know. So I, I may make a video on that one. I probably will. Um, but then some of the other quotes and, and messages, um, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm almost positive that I will because they just, they hit me in that kind of way. And I think that, um, it would be a good opportunity for me to kind of do some direct, you know, where I actually get to the point type videos. And I knew that this video was going to believe I, that's the only thing bad about like using my phone to record is that I get a phone call and I can't stop it from coming in and it shuts my video down. So it's one of the reasons why I've thought about getting a dedicated camera um, that I can use to, to record these videos. But regardless, I believe where I was at there and I don't have time to start this video over because it's starting to get dark now. Um, but I believe where I was at was stating that, that I plan on making some type of series uh, of videos regarding uh, Clarence Clemens and, and some of the messages that came from this film. Again, Clarence Clemens, who do I think I am? I highly recommend this. If you're a fan of music, the saxophone, anything Bruce Springsteen, 
uh, which he was not in the film, and I don't know why, but um, but anyways, um, if you're a fan of any of those things, or if you're just a fan of just awesome human beings, people that are just beautiful spirits, and and that this world is a better place because of them. And and I say that, but man, you know you know those people in your life that, that you look at and you just go, you know what? The, the world is a better place because you're here. And if you know somebody like that, you should tell them every single day. You should tell them that this world is a better place because they're here. Shoot, tell a random stranger that. But the people that, you know, you know the people I'm talking about. They, they just light you up. They light up this world. But if you're a fan of any of that, check this film out. The dude is unbelievable. Um, he's absolutely incredible. And, and I'm sure that I'm going to be making like a series uh, of videos on some of the specific messages that came from this film because they just impacted me. And if I go through all of them in this video, this is going to end up being like an hour long video. So I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep moving forward. I will always trust the process. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you. You know who you are for the recommendation on this film. I love you and I appreciate everybody out there. I'll talk to you later. I'm out.